European Maritime Safety Agency announced that operations have started on 23 of September for a period of three months with flights taking off from the Regional Surveillance and Rescue Operational Centre Green Es Cape in northern France which will serve as logistical base and will coordinate the follow-up of the flights. The unmanned aircraft will fly above the traffic separation scheme of Pas de Calais. This area is part of the North Sea Sulphur Emission Control Area where tighter pollution monitoring rules apply. Ships navigating in this area must not use fuel with a sulphur concentration higher than 0.1% whereas in other areas the limitation is set at half a percent. The information sulphur concentration, images, flight trajectory and gas measurements collected from the drone will be transmitted live and recorded in EMSA's Arpia's data center. The Arpia's data center is linked to Theta CU, a European database used by authorities around Europe responsible for ship inspections. If the emissions measurement taken by the drone reveals a breach in the concentration limit, a subsequent ship inspection may be triggered at the next port of call. EU member states are informed of these breaches to facilitate the coordination of the ship inspections among them. Nordic Unmanned, in partnership with Explicit Apes provides and operates unmanned aerial systems to monitor compliance with MARPOL. The drones are equipped with sniffer sensors that detect and measure levels of SO2, CO2, NO2 and NO in the ship exhaust. This allows for remote assessment of a ship's fuel composition as well as other emittents stemming from engine combustion. If measurements are above the stipulated limit, the ship's port of call gets a notification to proceed with further fuel sampling or other inspection measures. Most ships run on fuel oil, which causes significant emissions of sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides. These emissions cause air pollution, acid rain, ocean acidification and eutrophication as well as respiratory and other diseases in humans, making the shipping industry a considerable contributor to air quality problems on a global scale. One study suggests that left unchecked, sulfur emissions from shipping could play a part in 570 000 premature deaths worldwide by 2025. <laughs>